Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. Ada's Wash Day, written by Charnette Donacian. It's Sunday morning, and Papa and Gabby have gone to the park. I also want to go play outside, Ada moaned. <sighs> Sorry, sweet pea. It's wash day today, replied Mama sweetly. It's not fair. I hate wash day. It takes so long. I hate my hair, Ada shouted, stomping off to her bedroom. Mama followed Ada upstairs. No reply. Can I come in, please, sweet pea? Asked Mama. Okay, replied Ada quietly. Oh, sweet pea, it's okay. We can go for a cycle later. Would you like that? Asked Mama. But first, we need to wash your hair. We do the same thing every week. Plus, you went swimming yesterday, so we really have to. Ugh! It smells of pool! Ada exclaimed. It will be fun. We can watch your favorite show, Mama replied. Can you tell me again what we need to do? Asked Ada. Sure, sweet pea. It goes like this: shampoo two times. Condition, and then detangle. That's the bit I don't like. Detangling. It takes so long and it hurts. I'm sorry, darling. It won't be so long today, and I hope it won't hurt. Mama assured Ada. Step one: shampoo. Mama squeezed large dollops of shampoo onto Ada's hair. She then gently massaged the shampoo into the hair, whipping up large amounts of foam and bubbles. My eyes! My eyes! Ada screamed. I'm sorry, Mama said. It's okay, Mama, Ada replied. Mama continued washing Ada's hair, this time being extra careful not to get soap in her eyes. Are we finished yet? <sighs> asked Ada. Almost. Shampoo done. Now for step two: condition. Would you like to help? Mama asked. Oh, yes, please. Ada replied with enthusiasm. Ada scooped up large amounts of conditioner from the tub, taking her time to smell it before rubbing it all over her hair. Mmm, it looks like chocolate mousse. But it smells like coconut and honey," said Ada. They worked the conditioner in the scalp and all throughout the strands of her hair. Ada's hair recoiled like a spring. Ada grabbed her shower cap and placed it on her head. Today we will leave it on for 15 minutes," Mama said. Ada grabbed her tablet and set the timer for 15 minutes. I'm going to do some gymnastics for a bit. That way, my hair can really get a good steam. Ding! Went the timer. Ada rushed back to the bathroom. I'm ready, Mama. Okay. Step three. Time to detangle. I promise I will take it slowly. Mama said, trying to reassure Ada. Mama parted her hair into four sections and used a black brush to detangle her hair. Voila! Finished! Mama exclaimed. That was quick! I didn't feel a thing, Mama! Ada said, smiling brightly. Wow! What beautiful hair you have, Ada! Mmm. Some kids at school say that my hair is not beautiful. They think I am a boy because I have boy hair," said Ada sadly. "They think you are a boy. Your hair is beautiful, darling. What's boy hair anyway?" asked Mama quizzically. "Short, fluffy hair like this," she said, grabbing her hair. "They keep making fun of me, and I don't like it." 
I'm sorry, Sweet Pea. Kids can be a bit mean," explained Mama, giving Etta a big hug. I want long, straight hair like my friends, like you," she said sheepishly. "Your hair is your crown. It's what makes you you, unique and special." That's the beauty of our hair, sweet pea. It's so versatile. Mama grabbed the shower head, leaned over the bathtub, and gave her hair a good soak. I want to look like you, Mama said. Her long straight hair transformed into a big cloud of straight curls. We can rock our curly hair together, Mama said, chuckling. They both laughed, rocking out. With their curly hair. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time.